My favorite essay event? Yeah. Elections. <laughs> <laughs> I say pool fest and sprint fest. Is, yeah. it, is the event that has the most students involvement? <laughs> actually, I, w I would like to say fall fest, but if you look at the attendance from the last fall fest, actually, the SU's Black Explosion had a higher attendance than fall fest with about a tenth of the budget. So I would like to say Fall Fest, I really would, but to be honest, I haven't seen any successful concerts or fests come out. So actually, my favorite event are the small ones, set up by the small ones. Actually, my most favorite has to be UBCon, just because this is a group of people who get overlooked a lot, don't get a lot of the funding, but they're able to put together one of the biggest events at UB that's actually regionally and nationally known. When we put together this ticket, we make sure that we, we, pre, we are people that know each other. At the end of the day, people put together tickets at the last minute during when elections are coming along. And what ends up happening is that once people get elected, everybody goes their separate way. Me and Judy, have, me, Judy and Justin have worked together. Since, me and Judy have worked together since my sophomore year. Me and Justin have worked together since last year. And by the beginning of the semester, we, we made a plan. We want to make sure that when we go up there, we're gonna go up there not for what we need, if not for what the student need. And the student need is the main reason why we're up there. At the end of the day, we're only gonna, we're only gonna be there because the students are gonna elect us. So it's, it is our goal, and it's what we mandate, that we're gonna go up there as the top three UMB members and work together to, to get the more benefits for the students. To make sure that the delegates are doing what they need to do. Because at the end of the day, what happens is that seven people get elected, three work, and sometimes some of the delegates don't, don't want to work. You have two delegates that work, three delegates that work. We want to make sure that our delegates are going to be working. And if they're going to be doing what they have to do, like that, we have less work to do when it comes to those specific sub subjects, and we can focus more on what, what the student need is. We have more time to be dedicated to the student demands as they come along. So our, goal, our, our main point is that we have work together, we know each other. We have put a group of individuals, not because they could draw both, not because they qualify, and because we could trust them, and because we could work together. Building off what Darwin said, it's, it's most important that people can work together, but more than just know each other and work together, have seen successful results. I think with some of these other parties, uh, not to describe them at all, because they have been majorly successful in their positions. The only problem that I see personally with that is that they are majorly successful in their individual positions. And they have been shown really that the three of them coherently can work as a group. With my party, with me and Kate and Chang, we belong to the same fraternity, Alpha Kappa Psi, professional business fraternity. It's not an essay, but what we've been able to do working together rather than individually is promote UB's chapter of Alpha Kappa Psi. It's one of the best in the region, one of the best in the country. People come to us asking for advice, and we've only been able to do that in the past three years that we've been involved. So not only do we work together, but we work together successfully and get results. Good. All right. Adam and I have been working together since I became the Assistant Election Credentials Chair my uh, sophomore year. I helped him out with UVCon. Um, I helped him out with UVCon, helped him out with, uh, with his e-board. I'm familiar with his constitution. I'm also familiar with IAS's constitution. I've been running his elections uh, for the past two years. We all work together, we're all good. And we're, what we're also gonna be doing is focusing on ensuring maximum utility out of our delegates. Uh, a lot of the delegates this year showed up to uh, one assembly meeting and that was the one in which they got their, <clears throat> and that's the one where they got their pay guaranteed. They, they haven't come to anything since then. Our delegates will be at every assembly meeting because the assembly should be the true voice of the student body. Anyone can join the assembly, anyone can speak at assembly, and that is where the delegates should be holding, <clears throat> and that's where the delegates should be held accountable. Okay, so uh, for Ted, 
Um, what can you do for the UV students and the student association that the other candidates cannot? Sorry to break the trend and actually stand up for this one, but what we can offer, what MVP can offer more than these other two parties is one of the most important things when you're looking at the presidency, the vice presidency, and the treasurer positions, and that is objectivity. These guys are coming in with successful resumes from their clubs, from their activities that they've done in SA, and that's great, and it really is. But what we can offer, and what you should all want from a president, a treasurer, a vice president, is the fact that we're not involved in SA, but we embrace that as being something that's better for everybody, not just the clubs, but every single student. Because we haven't worked with any of the clubs closely. We're not, we're, we don't have any ties to any of them. We don't have any positions promised, any budget increases, anything like that. We can look at each club individually as it's each unit and say, objectively, this is what you're doing. This is what you can improve on. This is what we want from you guys. Some of the other clubs, and, and I think it's not just fair to the candidates, it's unfair to the clubs. If you put them in a position where you have a treasurer coming from your club. You ask them for funds. If they accept it, then that's showing favoritism. The other clubs might frown upon that. If they don't accept it, then it's disunity among the club. Don't. It, it's not fair to put them in that position. It's not fair to put the club in that position. Bring in an objective party that wants to represent all 19,061 students, not just the clubs. That wants to bring in everybody. That's something that our party can offer that they can't. They've been in SA. They've been involved. They know the people. Being a new group, bringing new staff members, new ideas, because we've been getting the same things over and over again for the last three years that I've been here. Let's bring in some fresh faces, new ideas, a new policy and a new mindset going forward for the future that can really change the school around and make it a place for everybody that everybody wants to come to and wake up in the morning and can't wait to get to campus because something awesome is going to be happening. And I know that if MVP gets there, something awesome will be happening every day. You can put away your alarm clocks. You're not going to need them if MVP gets elected. <laughs> Woo! MVP! <clears throat> Reason can offer a part, can offer the Student Association, the only party with legitimate and extensive credentials. Uh, I've been serving more often than not as a proxy since Hassan Farah was the president of SA. Uh, I've been serving more often than not as a senator than when Hassan Farah was the president of the SA. Uh, I've served on, I'm the only candidate right now with experience on subboard. I'm the only candidate right now with experience in running elections with education and parliamentary procedure with who's, I've been serving on club executive boards since I got here. Uh, Adams and Nikki has very similar credentials. Adams and Nikki put on the largest UB con in his in uh, UB's history. I asked to fail raised eighty thousand dollars outside of UB, not even finding new finding new sources of money in all places. He's raised over one hundred fifty percent of the budget. We are a party that is running on our record, not from it. I think um, what we we go for that all the parties can offer is that. The other parties are forgetting that each club is different, each council is different, we have diversity. We have people that come from different council, people that have seen different clubs. You can't see all clubs the same because tonight is going to be a failure. You can't expect a sport club to do the same thing as a, as a club from the POC council. Each club serves a different purpose. If we elect people that have not been from SA, they're not going to know what the club's purpose are. Yes, it is true, some of, some of our members have come from club, but that's the reason why our church does not come from any club. There's no bias when it comes to the finance. Justin, Justin has not been part of the clubs. He's not going to have a bias towards the clubs. So we have people that come from different clubs that can tell Justin, this is how clubs work. This is what we look from each council, sport council, engineering council, academic council. But you can't stay here and say that all clubs are the same because at the end of the day, they are not. They're not, and that's something that the United Party understand. That this is a diversity among the 130 plus clubs that we have in the Student Association. 